Even with global inflation, supply chain disruptions and rate hikes in major economies, South Korea managed to attract record high FDI pledges last year. Invest Korea Week 2022 kicked off on Wednesday to show why the nation is a hot destination. Am ji takes us there. Despite uncertainty in the global economy, South Korea in the first nine months of this year saw more foreign direct investment pledges than ever before. Last year's investment pledges from overseas also hit an all-time high, recording 29.5 billion U.S. dollars, up more than 42 percent on year. So will this upward trend continue? The level of interest seen at Invest Korea Week 2022 hints that it will. Global companies invest in all semiconductor fields to strengthen cooperation with Korean companies, and recently, various companies have announced plans to invest in Korea not only for manufacturing but also for R&D. The annual three-day event held in Seoul is the first face-to-face -face meeting of its kind since the start of the pandemic with some 300 companies from home and abroad exploring investment opportunities. Invest Korea Week 2022 shows South Korea's attractive foreign direct investment environment and opportunities in key high-tech industries, particularly in batteries, biotech and chips. An official at IBM says it already has a strong relationship with South Korea with many of its chip products being manufactured in the country. He added, with its national strategic initiatives, the U.S. is actively looking for more partnerships with South Korea. Of course, one of the most significant um, pressures on the market right now are the national strategic initiatives, such as the CHIPS Act. Um, this is causing both challenges in the short term around how to manage a shift in sourcing um, and in partnerships um, towards friendly countries away from traditional legacy partners. And then, of course, this presents tremendous opportunity. It's not only semiconductors. One expert in foreign direct investment says South Korea's high-tech industries got away with the recent global supply chain crisis as they are favorable investment destinations. And the determinants are very simple. You need to hire capable people to do what you want them to do. And in Korea, there's quite a lot of human, well-educated uh, workers and workers who are disciplined and uh, can show up on time and do what's necessary and learn new, new skills. So the people is a big thing. You need a reliable infrastructure to get things in and out. And Korea has a very good infrastructure. And uh, lastly, you need to have a government that you can trust. And Korea does have quite a good system of rule of law and reliability. The trade ministry says recently South Korean firms have announced $1 trillion worth of investments in various future industries, ranging from electric cars, semiconductors, AI and batteries over the next five years. The government says it'll actively support foreign investors and reform any unnecessary regulations. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.